Hi, this is Finn Peacock from solarquotes.com.au and in this video we're going to go through how the hell you work out what the payback of your solar power system will be. I'm assuming that you've got a quote for a solar power system and that should obviously have a price on it and also it should have an estimated power output in kilowatt hours if it hasn't chuck it in the bin and find another installer because that's fairly important. But once you've got that information, this is how you work out whether it's financially viable to buy the thing. If we go to solarquotes.com.au, then we just go down, learn about solar power and click on the solar payback calculator. Okay, there's three calculators I've created on the website. And the reason there are three is that there are essentially three ways you can pay for a solar system and um, how you pay for the solar system will affect the cash flows of owning the system and you know whether your solar system is cash flow positive or not is one of the major factors um, that you're going to take into account when you're weighing up whether this thing's financially viable or not. So the first calculator, I've called it the electricity savings calculator, that's assuming you're paying cash for the solar system so that compares um, the economics of owning the solar system with the uh, situation that you would be in if you didn't, which would be collecting the interest on the money that's in the bank. Um, the second option is to add it to your mortgage. I'm actually surprised that more people don't do this because, um, well, you can try for yourself. When you put the numbers in, generally a good solar system at a decent price um, will pay for itself from month one. Um, what I mean by that is um, the amount you save in your electricity will be more than the extra repayments on your mortgage, so you're actually saving money every month usually. I mean, put the numbers in, see if it works for you. Um, but generally, you know, it can be quite a good idea. And the third option, which is usually the least, um, the, the most difficult one to make work in terms of getting a positive cash flow anyway, is if you finance it with a loan and the, the reason there is that it tend these loans tend to be quite short term and have quite high interest rates so it can be quite hard to make the loan repayments um, be less than what you're saving in the electricity but again you know put the numbers in and see if it works for you but in the next video I will walk you through um, all the fields in the first calculator because all the fields are pretty similar um, and I'll explain what they are if you want to change them from the default, what numbers you put in there and how they affect uh, the results of the calculator um, once you've put all the inputs in. So I'll see you in the next video where I'll walk you through all these inputs and uh, you know, don't worry, it's not as, uh, not as complicated as it looks.